There's a notion feature that's gotten a lot of slander in the last few years. Well, it was, wasn't slander at the time, but now it's a pretty good feature. The notion search feature is something that if I press control P will quickly come up and give us a lot of good options. So the thing that people don't understand about this new setup, it will actually do pretty solid searches and allows you to do decent filtering and even allows you to do something nice like this. If I have pressed control, left clicked on this, it's gonna open it in a new tab probably something you didn't know about. So overall, how this works is it will give you a view of some of the recent pages you had. So it is nice to uh, just press control P and show the recent pages and then hold control and left click to go back to something. Maybe if you closed it out, very similar to how you can like open up recent browser tabs in Chrome that you have closed. And then for searches, say I were to search for a specific page like YouTube. This is gonna bring up a lot of different things with YouTube, and I understand how people can be like, all right, well, this, this filtering isn't that good, but what we can do is we can actually filter it so that it can give you a little bit more of a granularity in things. So I wanna filter it by only match titles so I can get rid of anything where the context inside of it wouldn't be there. So if I pressed YouTube, did it with a capital, and I know that this is not something everybody has, but if I did the red emoji here, since this is how I have my setup, it's easy enough for me to go into the exact page that I actually want. So if I press Control P and press Add Filter, what I could actually do is filter it so it's in the current page, or I can even filter it to by a specific page that I had. So once again, if I put YouTube and that red symbol, I'd be able to do it in this page, which is the same as in current page. I just showed you a different way to get to there. Now I will say there's a bit of a drawback here where since these are just linked databases, they're not the actual specific thing on this page. So like I'd have to find something else in a different spot. So for example, this master content calendar would actually be where I could find those different pages. So I fixed my YouTube channel. This is actually where it's gonna be. It's gonna be within the actual database itself. And unfortunately it cannot pull into linked databases. So master content calendar, and then it would actually bring up everything. And it would actually bring up the different layers within these different things. So I could actually change it so I only would wanna find the match titles only. So it only bring in these and not this, which is a, another example of the script, but as you'll see, it's just trying to bring in the specific parts of the text where I wrote this in the description. And when I clicked on that, you'll see that it actually opened up to the very block that I was looking for. So it does have some in-page context stuff that really does help. Now, something a lot of people don't know is that there can be bugs in Notion. Yeah, who would have thought? And for me, there is a specific bug that I ended up having where if I go to Taskade video in general, there is this bug where it's just like copy of Taskade video and I couldn't find out where it was. So if I go into this and go to schedule YouTube video community post, you'll see that is not existent like there there was a bug where essentially i was doing these duplications and i couldn't figure out where this b-roll list b-roll list was coming from so i actually just went into these and was like what the heck is going on so i had to go there and then there and then it showed that it was sort of a broken situation so the only option is to delete this task entirely or go through all of these b-roll lists and delete them one by one and the reason that that was possible was because I actually went into the search feature and then backed out from it. There's no way to physically find any of these bugs if you don't use the search feature. So while it is a little bit limited at times, this in current page filter really did help me figure out that yes, there was a bunch of different bugs and how many different B-roll lists were stuck within each page. One other nice feature is the fact that you can do deleted only. So if I go B-roll list, you see that I did manually delete a fair amount of these. And that's the nice thing about having the pro plans from Notion is that like it has this deleted archive. So if I ever do want to go back and find any pages that I did delete, this deleted only section really does help. And if I wanted to narrow that down further, I could do in current page as well. So say I deleted one of these and then deleted one of these. Then it went back here and did deleted only B-roll list it'll show that I did delete one so far in this process. If you found this helpful, I am gonna release a Notion course if it's not out already. And I also have a bunch of videos like this one on how to improve your Notion even more.